Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and it is way late in the day for me to be recording a video, but I wanted to make a quick one right now because there's a new Obsidian plugin that connects Matter highlights. Uh, Matter is a read it later service, uh, kind of like Pocket or Instapaper or something. I made a whole other video about it. Um, but basically, this is a service that lets you read things in a nice view and everything and highlight things to kind of like just highlight your favorite stuff. Um, and it lets you sync those things over to things like Readwise and Notion. So I have it set up to sync to Notion and you can kind of see, um, I don't know, I can go into any of these and you can see I've got like the title, the author, when it was, when I created the highlight, when uh, like here's the link, here's the publication date, like all this stuff is here and then the stuff that I highlighted is in the body. And for me, this is great, uh, but not everyone uses Notion, right? So if you use Obsidian, there's now an option for you. So. I've got kind of a test vault set up here um, with like really nothing here. But basically what you're going to do is go into settings. You want to go to community plugins and then turn safe mode off. You need to turn this off so you can install plugins. And then under community plugins, go to browse. And all you're going to do is search for matter. And as of right now, it's going to be the last thing on the list. Um, but it's matter by matter. That's the one you're looking for. Uh, and so basically we're just going to install it. It's going to download and install it and you want to enable it. And so now we're good to go. So I'm going to um, get out of this and then you can see under plugin options, there's one for matter. And so I click on this and just like connecting all things to matter, you want to scan this QR code. So I've got my phone here. I'm going to hit the, uh, the settings icon and then connect web extension. And I just scan it with my camera. Cool. There we go. So now it's connected and you can see that with the green check mark. And now I just need to tell it where to sync my highlights. What folder do you want it to go into? Uh, so it defaults to calling it matter, but I actually have one called highlights, right? So highlights is the one I want it to go to and we'll just say start syncing. And so now it's syncing uh, with matter. So it's pulling in all of my highlights. We should see those populating. There we go. It's pulling all those in and that's it. Uh, it's finished syncing, so I'll have them all there. I can have it automatically sync when Obsidian's open every hour, half hour, every day or so, like whatever I want, and I can manually sync on demand. So that's nice. That's something Notion does not have, I don't think. And you can just click into any of these, right? Um, so like, let's click into this one. Here's an article I saved. It doesn't have quite as much as Notion has. It doesn't have like all the th different things broken down. I'm not actually sure why. I feel like they should be able to do that if they wanted. Um, but you've got metadata here at the top uh, with the URL for what you saved, the author of it, and then um, uh, the highlights. So all the things that you highlighted. So if I go into like Markdown preview, it looks a little nicer and everything. But yeah, so that pulls in all your stuff. It's nice that it automatically puts things like the author in a backlink. Um, so I think... If I go into like, uh, is there a Halo one? I think I have a Halo one. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, here we go, H Halo. No, these are different authors. But anyway, I could you know go into them and see, uh, or make pages for them and all that good stuff. And if I go into my graph view, um, theoretically I should have things, here we go. Oops, oh boy, I don't use the graph view that often, so I'm not totally sure how it works <laughs> all the time. But like Casey Newton, I can see I've got a couple things here that um, I've highlighted from him, um, and you can just kind of, yeah, it, it basically adds the stuff that you need to use the graph view if you use that sort of thing. But yeah, um, that is how it works. Pretty easy to set up, and hopefully this video was helpful. If you are an Obsidian user and use Matter for reading, it's really niche, I guess, but um, if you do fall into that category, this is gonna be pretty exciting for you, I think. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.